prophecy alert, a prophecy alert. Are you serious? Uh, Just minutes ago, we've received information, word on the street from one of our very reliable sources that he's correct about 95% of the time. There's chatter. There's a lot of chatter right now all over the world. And they're anticipating a released audio statement by the ISIS leader who calls himself the Caliph because he's declared this is the Caliphate. Uh, Al-Baghdadi is, a, is a, any time is going shortly to release an audio statement. Now, here's what he's, here's what uh, there's a, the, the, our uh, source, we won't reveal our source, but we will give you a link to what he has to another man by the name of Rami. And Rami has left a series of tweets with pictures that you can look for yourself. And I'm going to put the link below. Get this. Two hours ago, Rami uh, tweeted, this time from the Netherlands, they wait for the ISIS caliph Abu Barak al-Baghdadi to speak. And then Rami tweets, wow, from inside the Saudi Arabia's biggest oil company, they wait for ISIS caliph Abu Barak al-Baghdadi to speak, and they have a picture of a cup, and it's written in Arabic on the cup. They're waiting for their instruction. Then we have, uh, he tweets from, uh, Rami tweets from Cologne, Germany, and inside of Gaza in Israel. All are waiting for the ISIS caliphate Abu al-Baghdadi to speak. More pictures, more pictures of uh, handwritten notes in Arabic. Then Rami tweets um, from Saudi Arabia and Turkey and the United States. They're waiting for the ISIS caliph Abu Barak al-Baghdadi to speak. Then he he tweets from Stockholm. They are also waiting for the ISIS caliphate Abu Baghdadi to speak in Sweden. Then he tweets, and each time there's pictures showing the notes. Rami tweets, they're waiting for the ISIS caliphate Abu Baghdadi to speak in Germany. And then we have this. uh, It's expected that an audio statement from al Fuquan media, those who live in faith would live upon evidence, ISIS. And then he tweets, important audio statement by ISIS caliphate Abu Barak al-Baghdadi will be released shortly in Iraq and Syria. And this is being tweeted throughout the world. They're letting each other know there are sleeper cells, folks, all over the world waiting for a speech, an audio uh, statement or speech to be released by the leader of ISIS. Now, if you go to Micah, Chapter 5, and I'm here in Ephrata, Washington, preaching a revival. We had a tremendous time last night. Great crowd. Folks came from six states and Canada, as well as the locals here. And tonight they, tonight they expect the building to be overrun with people and may have to set up an overflow foyer. That's how powerful this prophetic uh, meeting is taking place. Matter of fact, YouTuber... Andy Firecharger and his wife were in attendance last night, and they're coming back tonight. Also, Pastor Scott is coming from Portland, Oregon. Also, Dr. Joe uh, Glickman and his wife and family from Montana were here. We had folks here from Las Vegas, Nevada, people here from all over the state of Washington, Spokane, Seattle, all over Washington. We had people here from Northern California, We had folks here that came in from Montana. They came in from Idaho. They were here from Canada. Uh, I don't even know. I can't remember all the places. Oregon. They just kept coming. And uh, it's going to be a powerful tonight. Don't miss it 7 p.m. if you're within five hours of being here. Start driving. Okay? We may have a, a breaking revelation for you. Let me just tell you what it says in Micah real quick. It talks about... Ephrata, which is where I'm at, but it's talking about the real Bethlehem Ephrata. And it says that it's going to rise up, that there's going to be, of course, a Savior. But Jesus Christ will rise up. All right. Then 
Micah goes into a prophetic word in verse 5. He says, and this man shall be the peace, talking about Jesus. Then he says, but when the Assyrian shall come into our land, and when he shall tread in our palaces, then shall we raise against him seven shepherds and eight principal men. All right, who's the Assyrian? Well, it goes on. You can go check with Dr. Chuck Misler, check with some of the other uh, astute Bible prophecy experts. They'll tell you that the Assyrian is representing the Antichrist. Doesn't mean he has to come out of Assyria, but it does mean it is who he's representing here. Well, al-Baghdadi has declared himself the caliph, and this is the caliphate, the Levant. In other words, is he the Assyrian from Syria in Iraq? ISIS, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria? I don't think so, to be honest with you. I don't think so. But he certainly is a dangerous individual, and he's rallying radical Islamic jihadists all over the world. And they're waiting for his words to speak. So we're going to keep a close eye on that tonight. Uh, don't go nowhere. Stay right here at this YouTube channel. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. This is word on the street, okay? Word on the street. I'm sure that after his audio speech is released, you'll start to see mainstream, lamestream media start to decipher it. But I'm giving you a heads up right now that something's about to happen. A speech is to be released. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. Are you serious? I am very serious.